What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're finally going to be working on the truck once again, so, um, there was some unexpected news, uh, significant unexpected news, that's pretty much adding an extra two to three thousand dollars in replacement parts on the truck, um, so basically towards the middle of this video you guys are about to find out that something I found with the truck is going to result in us needing to spend another two to three thousand dollars, it is what it is. Um, I, th these are obviously parts in used prices. If it was brand new, it'd be upwards of ten thousand uh, dollars. That's probably reason. That's probably the reason why the truck got totaled in the first place. But if we can keep this build for under half of the clean title value, which we definitely still can, um, then it's a really, really good deal. I was like thinking maybe even a third of how much it's worth, but obviously we can't get that good of a deal. Obviously the truck got totaled somehow. It is by insurance. It's safer with insurance, but there's a reason why the insurance totaled it out. So in this video, the first thing we ended up doing is that front wheel thankfully um, seemed to be pretty good the tire also seems to be pretty good so we took it down and we got it remounted so the tire and wheel got remounted we ended up putting it back on the front so the two front tires are matching the rim just needs to get repaired and then after that we pretty much just started taking off the airbags uh, the, the seat belt and then the airbag module so we could take that stuff down to LND solutions Yo, what's up? Hey, what's going on, Dennis? Yeah. Um, so the seatbelt is clearly seized up. Um, I don't know on Fords, do the seatbelt tensioners also like blow on those or that's only BMWs? Uh, so I believe that's, so for the older F-150s, it's just the belt. I don't think the pre, or I don't think the belt will blow there. And also uh, for those, the modules, uh, they have to be programmed to in order for the light to come off after you change all the airbags or whatever. Oh, really? Is that something you can reset? Yeah, yeah, we reprogrammed those modules. Do you know where that is on an F-150? Somewhere in the middle under the shifter. <laughs> ah, that's going to be fun. Okay. All right, I'll try to get both of those then. <laughs> Wish good. me luck. All right, let me know if anything. Yeah. All right, luck. appreciate it, brother. Later. Now we just need to get some gas. We are on our way to LND Solutions. All right, guys, pulling up to LND Solutions. Uh, finally, boys. Yes, yes. Well, I was out of town. Uh, I got back last night. All right, guys, so we're finally here at LED Solutions with Dennis, the man, once again. Yes, so this time, this is not a BMW part. Yes, I'm this, sure it was a lot easier to take apart. I literally, it was the plastics, I just... <laughs> it was way easier than a BMW. Uh, the other side is good. Um, is this the left or? Yeah, this is the left side. This is the driver's side, yeah. Oh, man, I swear to God. Double check. <laughs> oh, guys, I completely forgot. I didn't even know the passenger. We're gonna have to check the passenger as soon as we get back. But uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll find out. But yeah, this one's—I think it's actually just this one. Yeah, I uh, think so. Double check. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just wanted to mention, guys. So these modules right here—you can't just clear the lights. And uh, in terms of seatbelts, you can always just go buy another seatbelt. But when I was looking online, I found so many different colors, and I just wanted to reuse my original seatbelt. So in yep. LED Solutions, they rebuild them, they customize them, they reset these, and you don't actually have to show up to the office. They're thankfully local to me. Yes. So right. it works for me. Really close. Actually. But if we're not local, how does that work exactly? So 
basically you would, let's say you take off the seatbelt, you take off this module and you're like, I need to ship it. Yeah. So all you have to do, I think Nora's gonna put a uh, link in the Links description. down below, makes it easy. Um, you literally just hop onto our website right here. Boom, you go to home, you got seatbelt repair right here, boom. And then for Nor, in his case, this would be a single stage belt. And you know that because it has only one plug connector that goes into here that actually makes the seatbelt lock up during an oh, accident. Okay. Cool, cool. So the more you have, then you can see dual stage obviously has two plugs, um, stuff like that. Literally, you have this belt, click on that, buy now, and then you would put in like your email, all that stuff. And it would send you instructions yeah. on pretty much how to send in all so that stuff. So you get an email confirmation, put in the box. So this is Ship the box to us and then we do everything one day turn around take it back to you and that's it that works perfectly Yeah, so again guys um, <laughs> Thankfully with BMWs you guys can just reset the codes and clear the lights But if it's any other car like this is my first um, I call it foreign <laughs> We're living in America, but I call it a foreign because it's foreign to me um, <laughs> But any other car you guys need to reset anything um, Yeah, just make sure you go to the website it's super easy to use and at the same time, I'm actually gonna be doing some embroidery work pretty soon. Um, so even if you guys want just custom stuff like seatbelts, colors, and stuff like that, again, just send the seatbelt, same process. We do, we do pretty much everything interior. Everything interior. customization. And fixing. My, my seven series, the dash, you guys know. So I might actually be bringing that in as well. So we'll see, we'll see. What's up guys, it's a few days later now. We are heading down to North Highlands once again to pick up the airbag module and the seat belt. So uh, hopefully we'll pick up these two items right here. We should be good to go uh, in terms of airbags and stuff like that. We still need the two curtain airbags. They are still coming in the mail. Uh, hopefully we'll knock that out when we do the suspension and everything. I wanna get this build done within three episodes. It's literally the goal. So we just made it down here to LMG Solutions. Go ahead and inside, talk to Dennis, and hopefully everything is ready to go. What's up, boss? Yeah, what's up, bro? <laughs> oh, for a second I was like, is this Dennis? I was like, no, it's not Dennis. No, that's Dennis. <laughs> that's the, that's the <laughs> no, no, I was like, is it the haircut? No, that's not it. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just got here. Looks like you guys are keeping yourselves busy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's busy all day, every day. Here is your uh, belt module. This is all done. Awesome. This is all done. Works like brand new. You can't Perfect. even tell we touched it. Awesome. <laughs> no, I, I won't be able to. <laughs> uh, and that's it. So I just plug this in and... Uh, uh, it should, if it doesn't turn off, you come by here because sometimes you have to calibrate the passenger seat. Okay. For accidents, like the seaway sensor gets uh, off off its calibration. Yeah, yeah. So you have to recalibrate it. It basically senses if someone's sitting there to turn on the passenger. It's a lot to explain. But cool, cool. Just plug it in. If it doesn't turn off, let me know. If it uh, does, then you're all good to go. Okay, cool, That's cool. It. Appreciate it, brother. It's easy. Right on. So the next thing, let's go ahead and head down to my boys at Wheels and Tires. They're gonna go ahead and mount this new wheel with a new tire. So let me go ahead and just open this thing up real quick. We got a fresh new wheel from Raceline. So this is, again, brand new. We had to get a new rear wheel for the rear end of the car. Um, exact same paint code, exact same spacing, exact same wheel dimension. We did get two new tires, and we're gonna do two new tires for the rear. I want to just replace the one, but we're gonna do all both of them in the rear because I don't want the truck to be off balance. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then uh, once all that gets done at the tire shop, we're gonna bring the tires back. We're gonna bring all this uh, airbag stuff and hopefully get it all replaced tonight. So uh, without further ado, we got a lot to get done today. Let's head down to Wheel and Tire Zone. Alright guys, so we just made it down to my dad's place. The first thing I want to check is to make sure is the new rim that we ordered the same exact color as this. That's the first thing because there was two different kinds of colors. Metallic gray and gray. Um, this does look metallic gray, so I did go ahead and order the metallic gray, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to mount a tire, pay all those uh, you know fees and money and everything um, for something that's not actually the right wheel. So let's go ahead and get our wheel out of the trunk and uh, just, just double check, you know? We are in business, boys. Guys, I looked up something online to test out if our axle's bent because I don't know if you guys can see the wheel. It is like this. So I'm thinking it's the leaf springs because they're clearly popped out of where it's supposed to be. So we already ordered new leaf springs, but just in case it isn't the leaf springs, um, let's go in and jack up the car from the diff and just let this wheel roll. If it, if it pretty much rolls all wobbly, the axle is actually bent. If it, if it keeps spinning straight, 
there's a good chance that the wheels and the axle is actually good and it's just our leaf spring. So let's go ahead and test that. And at the same time, while we're testing that, we can go ahead and remove this wheel because we need to take it with us. From the looks of it guys, this thing is spinning pretty straight. I'm not seeing any wobbling going on, which is looking really good. So in that sense, it looks like a winner. Also the other side looks really good at two. I went ahead and ordered new U-bolts and I ordered a new leaf spring. So uh, in that case, let's go ahead and turn off the car, put it back on the ground and just take off that rear wheel over there because it looks like we are on the right track. This 7 Series is coming in handy. We just got this wheel loaded up with the tire. We're going to use this tire as a spare because it's perfectly good tread. But again, this particular tire, I think it's called um, the AT2, is discontinued. So you went ahead and go, we went with the AT3s, um, two in the rears, brand new Toyo, same brand. So without further ado, let's head down to Tire and Wheel Zone. Finally guys, we've just made it to tire and wheel zone. So we're finally here. Let's go ahead and pull up and uh, hopefully, hopefully, oh, they changed up the place a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully get these two new wheels mounted. And then also now we're gonna have a spare tire for the truck. This is super exciting stuff. There's a bunch of trucks over here. Um, let me go ahead and just park somewhere. They are very busy today. All right, boys. All right, guys, so I just spoke to the man, the myth, the legend, and <laughs> basically, um, he's just eating right now, so I'm gonna let, let him eat his food. We're just gonna go ahead and chill out for a little bit, and then uh, as soon as he's ready, we'll go ahead and unload the wheels and tires. I'm just super, super, super excited to get this truck on all fours. Brand new tires in the rear. Front tires have pretty much 80% life in them, and then the rims look so good. They're already aftermarket, so they look so, so good. Just spoke to Asman, and I think we're gonna go ahead and try to get some TPMS sensors in these wheels, mainly because, um, again, if I take this thing off-roading or on-roading or whatever, or for towing a car, it's kind of important to know your TPMS while you're driving because, um, yeah, you wanna know your air pressure. Especially on a car that you're actually towing a whole nother rig, you need to know your air pressure. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and install some uh, air pressure, tire pressure monitors in these rear ones, and I'll bring the front twos another day. For some reason, uh, these aftermarket ones do not have any uh, TPMS on there, so it um, looks like we're gonna have to add some. We are officially back home, guys. I am super, super, super happy that this wheel looks exactly like that wheel. I was super nervous that I accidentally ordered the wrong one, but no, they are matching perfectly. This is our spare. Let's go ahead and put it right back into the bottom of the truck. We don't need the spare anymore, but we're gonna keep it in the bottom of the truck just in case we do need it down the road. We're gonna go ahead and mount both new wheels onto the car. Obviously, it's still has suspension damage. Obviously, it still has this quarter panel damage. We are waiting on those things, but at least for the meantime, we'll get brand new tires, brand new wheels on this truck and at least make it drivable and looking somewhat decent because this spare is just so ugly. So let's just go ahead and uh, get into that stuff. I'm super excited. For those of you guys who are saying this is just the Ford, you know, why did you get a Ford to BMW channel? Every BMW owner that works on BMWs knows how important, how important it is to have a tow rig, a car that can actually tow all your BMWs, especially when they break down or give you transmission issues like the 7 Series. The 7 Series actually is getting sorted. We're dumping a lot of money into it, way more than it's worth, but I do want to make sure that we save it. Every BMW that we get on this channel, I want to make sure it's 100% saved with zero lights on the dash, no BSs. So I ordered a lot more transmission parts that are coming in and hopefully we'll get that situated at Showman Motors. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get these two wheels on for now. Now that we have the new wheel mounted, let's go ahead and just put that spare one back up in the bottom of the truck. Yeah. 
Now that we have this spare wheel back in the car, we have both wheels on the car now, both new tires. Super, super, super happy about all this stuff, but there's one thing that I did realize, and that axle is definitely bent. Looking at the truck from the top side over here, it's not that like angled. It's just ever so slightly angled. And this side, it is way more angled. And looking at it from the top of the axle, it does look bent. So unfortunately, it does look like we have to order a new axle. And uh, it is a very, very, very in-depth procedure. So I'm actually gonna have somebody that actually works out forward come out here and help us actually replace that axle. That will hopefully be in an upcoming video. But as for now, the car is drivable like this, but I do need to get the leaf springs replaced. So I'll do the leaf springs myself, mainly because I don't think they're too hard. But in terms of the axle, you have to take apart the differential to replace it. So no fun. i rather get somebody that's a professional to do it because this is going to be towing cars. I don't want the diff or anything blowing out while we're towing a car because uh, then I'll have two cars in a trailer and that wouldn't be any fun. Without further ado, we finally have the new wheels and tires on. We have this spare tire in the trunk and at this point, I really want to get the interior back together. We had to remove everything in the center console just to remove that airbag module. Let's go ahead and replug in that airbag module, put in that seatbelt. Shout out to LD Solutions for rebuilding this good stuff for us. So let's go ahead and just start working on the interior. And just like that, guys, we finally have the full center console back together with the new airbag module reset, good to go. So as soon as we actually replace all the airbags, we can just reset the module and we're ready to go. Uh, so the last thing we have to do in terms of the interior um, is just that pretty much the, the seatbelt for the driver's side. I'm gonna go ahead and install the driver's seatbelt. So I couldn't fully install the seatbelt, but again, that's because I can't install this thing just yet. So uh, so hopefully in the next video, once we actually got the whole roof and replace both airbags, we can actually put the pillars on there. We'll be 100% done with the interior. I cannot wait to at least perfect the interior. As for now, let's just go ahead and put back, um, where is it, where is it, where is it? This guy, this is the spare jack that we actually used to release the spare tire. And also if we're stuck on the side of the road, we're gonna need this. So just go ahead and put this right back in the car. And now that we made it to the end of the video, guys, it's time, it's time to get a new rear end for the truck. Um, so I really didn't want to spend this much on the truck, but at the same time, it's definitely worth the money. So for those of you guys who are wondering why I'm dumping so much money into an F-150, this F-150 is an EcoBoost with the 3.73 gear ratio FX4. So this, according to Ford and what I've been talking to, what I've read online, can tow up to about eight to 12,000 pounds which is more than enough for any tow car we're ever gonna need, any trailer we're ever gonna put on the car. This is why I'm in a rush to fix it because then we can pretty much get any car we want from Copart, any car off of Craigslist, any car we find for a good deal, even if it doesn't have an engine and completely restore and rebuild it. And that's why I'm super excited for the truck. So I hope you guys are too. But without further, smash the like button if you guys are enjoying this build. And make sure to smash the like button because we're about to dump another three to $4,000 and get the rest of the suspension, hopefully knocking that out all in one episode. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember, Remember to stay humble. I see you in the next one. Peace out.